Sweden, a happy social paradise on the edge of Europe. It is larger in size than Austria and Germany combined, but with just over 10 million people, it is a prosperous country, as solid and as reliable as the cars they built. But lately, Sweden's image has taken a hit. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden! Who would believe this? Sweden! In certain suburban neighborhoods, there are riots and drug trafficking. Once welcoming to foreigners, some political parties now use crime as an argument to stop all immigration. While neo-Nazis are marching freely in the streets of Stockholm, a lot of Swedes are worried about the rise of the extreme right in their country. I'm here because I'm an anti-fascist and anti all this, and because I lost almost all my family the last time it happened. I'm sorry. We have difficulties keeping the country together. We got bigger gaps between the poor and the rich ones and then in those times these uh, parties grow bigger because people have something to be angry about. Like every time the history repeats itself. People are afraid of uh, change and we have change. People are a little bit uh, confused and com afraid uh, what you have seen in a lot of European countries and now you see it in Sweden as well. If they w want to work and or study and learn Swedish it's okay, but if you're a criminal, I say big no. 